Um, let me, ask, Mr. Kelly, on, on the on the air quality, and and Mr. Parker, would both of you briefly comment on that? And will we ever, do you think, be able to get on an airplane without masks? Well, again, I would I would echo uh, my colleague's comments uh, on the quality of the air. It's uh, the, the the statistics I recall is 99.97 percent of airborne pathogens. Uh, are captured by the HEPA filtering system and it's turned over every two or three minutes. We use UT Southwestern and Stanford School of Medicine. Uh, so uh, we just add to this prestigious list. But um, yeah, I, I think the case uh, is very strong that uh, masks don't add much, if anything, uh, in the uh, air cabin environment. It's very safe and very high quality com compared to uh, uh, any other indoor setting. Mr. Parker. Uh, I, I concur. The, air, the aircraft is the safest place you can be. Um, it's true of all of our aircraft. They all have these HEPA filters and the same airflow. Um, okay, Ms. Nelson, will, will we ever um, be able not to wear masks in them? I think that that's probably for the medical community to decide rather than me, but what I will add is that the studies that were done that have been referenced were also done with mannequins who were sitting straight forward with masks on, not removing them, not eating at any point in time. Um, so it is, it is important to recognize that the um, safe, controlled environment on the plane is a layered uh, safety protocol, which includes the sanitation of the aircraft, it includes the service procedures, it includes the HEPA filtration that are not on all aircraft, by the way, and it includes everyone wearing the masks. So the, the filtration system um, is different from airline to airline or from aircraft? From aircraft to aircraft. So not all aircraft have the HEPA filtration. Older, older planes may not. The flights that you take to Mississippi, for example. I'm, they're the best. <laughs> they're the best. Well, they're the uh, best. Mr. Kelly, that's what you told me. <laughs> but on your Southwest uh, flights, Lauder. okay. On, on your <laughs> Southwest flights, I don't want. I don't want to get in the middle of that. But I, I, what I will tell you is, we absolutely look forward to the day that we no longer have the mask requirement, and um, we are simply trying to get through this pandemic and have had to enforce this to keep everyone safe. Not everyone on our planes have had access to the vaccine yet either. Thank you, ma'am, and thank you, Madam Chair. Yep, Senator Schatz. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Ranking Member. Thank you to all of you for being here. Really appreciate it. And um, we've all come through difficult times. We're probably not quite done with all.